So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. So check those out for massive discounts on all your hidden summoner needs as well as all your other Yu-Gi-Oh needs. But let's get on with the profile. Hey YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and I'm bringing to you guys, as you can see, a proxy deck profile for Salomon Greats. Now, this is using all the new cards, well, not all of them, some of them you don't need to play. Um, this is using cards from the Salomon Great Soul Burner structure deck that Japan has that we should be getting sometime next year, along with some cards from future sets that um, really help buff up the OTK potentials of Salomon Great. Um, I'm using those as well. Now this deck literally turns from a locals fun deck to a fully fledged competitor meta deck. This is like is actually topping some local events down in Japan, and it's doing very very well for itself. So I'm really happy that Salomon Greats turned from that to um, from just fun to actually um, fun but meta, and it's just an absolute blast. Cybers is actually getting some uh, recognition that it deserves. But it's not through Playmakers cards, which is absolutely funny. So, once I'm done, I'm going to run through you the deck profile but also, and explain to you the cards and ratios that are in them. But also, in another video, I will be showing you some one card, two card um, combos that not only sets you up with so much advantage in negation boards, but also in OTK as well. So, stay tuned to the channel for that. Um, with all that said and done, let's get into it. Starting off with the best card in the deck is Salomon Great Gazelle. When it's normal special summon, you can send a Salomon Great card from your deck to graveyard. Um, uh, Fusion of Fire counts as a Salomon Great card, so you can send that. But also, if a Salomon Great is special summon to your field except Gazelle, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it does a lot of advantage, lets you so much consistency. Um, being able to just ditch the cards in the graveyard that you want, which then you can recur to your hand later on, which is absolutely amazing. It essentially searches every um, card in your deck that's named Salomon Greats. Absolutely amazing card. Next, we have three Salomon Greats Spiny. Uh, this can discard from your hand to buff up a Salomon Great by 500 points. But um, you mostly use it for its graveyard effect that if a Salomon Great is summoned, you can special summon this card from your grave. Um, or actually, no, if you just control Salomon Great, you can um, accept Spiny, you can special summon itself. So it helps you for your link summons, but also for your exceed summons, which I'll get to later on. Um, that is very, very important. Both it and Gazal level 3. So it helps you go into your exceeds very, very easily, which is an absolutely amazing exceed. Next, we have three copies of Salomon Great Foul. If a Salomon Great Monsters normal special summon, special summon um, this card from your hand. You can special summon, um, you can use this effect of foul once per turn, and you can send one Salomon Great card from your hand to graveyard, then target a set spell trap card for sure. It can't be activated this turn. So it has a similar effect to the Trick Star Field spell, but it's just another monster that you can just summon from your hand to help you go into your link plays and just control the board from there. Um, you can take this out for um, hand traps. The best one is Ash Blossom because some of your monsters can recur fire monsters which Ash Blossom, which Ash, Ash Blossom is a fire monster. So this is a card that you can like hit and miss. It's up to you. Next we play free Salem Great Foxy card we actually do have. Um, so Foxy is that uh, when this card is normal summon, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, add an excavated Salomon Great card to your hand, and also shuffle the rest into your deck. If this card is in your graveyard, and a face-up spell trap card in the field, you can discard Salomon Great card, special summon this card, then destroy a face-up spell and trap on the field. You can only use the effect Foxy once per turn. So Foxy helps with your consistency, uh, just by normal special summon, um, but also being able to recur itself and pop problematic cards as well is very, very handy. I do play two copies of Salomon Great Mirror. This is another card that you can take out for hand traps or other cards that you feel like you need. Um, but it is a very handy card. There's a, if this card is added to your hand except by drawing it from your normal draw, you can read it, special summon it from your hand. If this card is in your hand, you can discard one other Salomon Great card, special summon this card from your hand. So it's another way to not only just get more bodies onto your board, but um, for your link summons, but also a way to get cards into the graveyard that you need. 
After that, we have one copy of Jack Jaguar. The only reason you play one copy of Jack Jaguar is kind of like the um, Garnet of your deck, because you just summon it off your Stalio, which then you can then get back later on in the combo, recycling a card back to your extra deck after the Reincarnation Link summoned. Um, for anyone who don't know, when I say Reincarnation Link Summon, if you watch the anime, um, the field spell that she used the same Link monster um, to fulfill the whole requirements for the next one. And then you get benefited effects. So, example, you use one Heat Leo to make another Heat Leo, which then gives Heat Leo additional effects. Um, so that's why I mean by Reincarnation Link Summon. Um, and so yeah, that's why you only play one Jack Jaguar because you don't really want to see it too much. Um, so that's that. And then to round up the Salomon Greats, I do play one Salomon Great Mole. Um, this is, I think, coming out in the next set along with the Fusion Monster. Which, uh, during your main phase, if you Link summoned a Link Monster this turn, you can just summon this card from your hand to his own it, uh, it points to. And if you control no monsters, you can banish this card from the graveyard and target five Salomon Great cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, then draw two cards. So this is kind of like a little mini pot of Avarice um, and another way to get monsters onto the board. Um, so I'm only playing out a one-off just to see how it goes. Next, we'll play three Lady Debugs. Um, pick this up while you can, guys. I hear this is going up in price because of Salomon Greats. Um, it's a must-needed card at three. Just because it searches all of your Salomon Greats are level three or below. Um, and including one additional monster that I'm tacking in the deck. So Lady Debug is very, very helpful. Most of your Link monsters just take Cyburst monsters. Um, so Lady Debug can help you go into those as well. Um, so very, very nice card. I'm playing one backup secretary as well, just because if you control Cyburst, you can summon it. This is another easy level three that you can summon to the field to help you make your um, Xyz monster. Um, and it's searchable off Lady Debug. Sorry about that. So I'm playing the Terra Top and Tachyton Borg. Now the OCG can play this at two of in terms of Terra Top. So their engine is a bit more consistent, but I'm just trying it out just to see how it goes. Um, we were t using these in the um, Goki deck to make MX Saber. So putting them in here to make um, your Stalio as it just takes two level threes is shouldn't be too bad. So, um, otherwise, if you don't like this, just take it out, put in something else. Moving on to the spells, I do play three Salomon Great Circles. This is what Playmaker needs. <laughs> but Soul Burn has got it. Um, so, you can activate one of these effects um, of Salomon Great Circle. Quick base spell. You can add either one Salomon Great monster from your deck to your hand, or you can target one Salomon Great Link monster you control. That was Link summoned using a monster with the same name as Material. Um, that is and that monster becomes unaffected by effects this turn. You can use one circle per turn. Circle is absolutely amazing. Just being able to rotate out any Salomon Great that you need for your plays, to start your plays, but also being able to extend your plays even further in some of the combos. Um, just circle is just what this is absolutely amazing. I do play two Will of the Salomon Greats. Now, a lot of profiles just play this at one of, but I had space and I just thought Will is a nice addition to the deck at two. It just helps you revive your monsters. So, during your main phase, you can press some Salomon Great monster from your hand or graveyard. You can send a space up card from the field to your graveyard and target Salomon Great Link monster you control. That was Link Salmon using a monster with its name as material. Special Salmon. Salomon Great Monsters from your hand and or graveyard defense position up to number that monster's link rating. Um, so it's kind of like a mini soul charge plus monster reborn. That's searchable. It's just pluses all around. That's why I'm playing it at two. I did play one Sanctuary. Salomon Great Sanctuary. It's searchable by your link one so that you only need to play a one of. Um, if you wanted to bump it up to two to see have an additional copy if it gets popped, go right ahead. I'd probably swap out the wheel for it. Um, so those ratios can go all around for you. I do play, follow you for the noise, one fusion of fire, as I said, it's always counted as Salem Great Monster, uh, Salem Great Card, but this helps you go into your fusion monster. Uh, fusion summon Salem Great Fusion from your extra deck, fusing monsters from your hand or either field as fusion materials. You can only activate one fusion of fire once per turn, so it's a super folly that's searchable <laughs> and recyclable, so it's just all around an amazing card. 
I do play one monster reborn and three copies of Cool by the Grave. It's at three now, so you can play three copies. Hand traps hurt this deck, so. Moving on to traps, because uh, Salmon Greats are a stun deck as well. So we play two Salmon Great Wars. Um, when a spell trap monster effects activate while you control Salmon Great Link monster, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. If a Salmon Great Link monster is linked summoned to your field using a monster with the same name as material while it's in your graveyard, you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can activate one war once per turn. So, War is an absolutely amazing card, being able to just search it and then recur it. So I essentially have three copies of War in the deck, or four copies actually. So War is absolutely amazing. We do play one Salomon Great um, Rage as well. So I activate one of these effects, send a Salomon Great monster from your hand, or face up one of the field to grab on the target card and field destroy it. Type one Salomon Great Link monster you control that was linked summoned using a monster the same as material. Use as many cards in your opponent controls up to the monster's link rating. You're going to bait one rage per turn. So it just helps you with board wiping the field if you're up against threats that you just don't like. It's very easy to link summon using monsters with the same name, either through the field spell or just because some of them are low link ratings, so it's easy to summon. And then we round up the deck with just the Sodom Brigade. Just nice and standard, any deck can play it and just stops a lot of decks. So that's the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck, we do play two Heat Leos. Um, overall, just your boss monster of the deck, um, of your extra deck. It's very easy to summon. Pop spells and traps cards when it's Link Summoned and I think Reincarnation Link Summoned. But also when it's Reincarnation Link Summoned, you can target a Salomon Great in your graveyard and change one monster's on attack on the field to become that attack. So you can either buff up your own monster by targeting another heat layer or something big, or you can target a lower attack monster in your graveyard and just reduce an opposing monster's attack. That helps you do with the um, OTK as well. We do play two of the Link 1 Salomon Great Phalanx. Um, it takes a one level 4 low Cyburst. If this card is Link Summoned, you can add one Sanctuary from your deck to your hand. If a Salomon Great card or cards you control would be destroyed by battle effects, so you can banish this from the graveyard instead. You can use each effect once per turn. Very easy to summon. You could probably play free, but you do recycle it um, during your combos if you can and want to, so yeah, two should be fine. The only one we do play free of is Salomon Great Wolf. Wolf is absolutely amazing, guys. It takes two fire effect monsters. Um, to make it, if a monster wants to normal special summon to a zone it's got points to, you cannot normal, you can add one fire monster from your graveyard to your hand, but for the rest of the time you cannot normal special summon monsters with the same name as that added monster. If this card is linked summon using Salmon Great Sunlight Wolf as material, you can add one Salmon Great Spell Track card from your graveyard to your hand. You can use each of that once per turn. Very, very nice card. You've got to play free of it because you just use it in all of your combos. Just recycles everything and just get nets you so much advantage. We do play one Transco Talker because it can help you with some of the combos recovering some of your monsters back. Uh, one Flame Administer just helps you go into your Heat Leo. So we're just giving you additional attacks for OTKs. Uh, the two Nightmares. Uh, Phoenix is additionally um, useful in this deck because it's a fire. Um, and that's the Link Monsters. Moving on to the XCs, you do play the two Mirage Stallio. Takes two level threes, you can detach the material from this card, spread some sand and great from your deck in defense mode. Also, you cannot activate monsters' effects for the rest of this turn except fire monsters. If this XC summon card is sent to Graveyard's Link material for a Link summon of a Salomon Great, target one monster in the field, return it to the hand. You can use each effect of Stallio once per turn. Very, very nice card. Um, you, you want to go into it into your combo to help you summon your um, your uh, Jack Jaguar, which then recurs monsters back to your extra deck, um, then summons back and summon it to Wolf Zone. Just overall, just so so powerful. And I only printed one off uh, by mistake, but you do play two um, of the Chimeras. It takes one Salomon Great Monster plus a Link Monster. If this card's fusion sum, you can have this card gain attack equal to half the total original attack of the monsters used for its fusion summon to the end of this turn. Once per battle, if this card battles an opposing monster whose current attack is different from its original, during damage calculation quick effect, you can have this card 
its attack double become double its current attack during the damage calculation only. Any monsters about the distribution summon card using some great violent chimera as material uh, has its attack become zero. So if you obviously use another one to summon the other one, it can just do everything by itself. But you mostly just use it. Um, you fusion summon just using a link that you can either you control your opponent controls um, plus the Salomon Great from your hand or your field. Um, and then you can just swing in. His attack is already buffed up. But then because of your Chimera and your other stuff, you can reduce your opposing monster or even your Heat Leo. Um, and then you can just net some stupid OTKs with this. Um, the only, and the reason you play two of it is because you can actually recycle Fusion of Fire multiple times. So you only really need one Fusion of Fire um, to make the combo work. But then you can summon multiple copies of the Fusion, which is very, very nice. And that, guys, is to deck. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, please leave a comment down below what you think of Salomon Greats. Do you think they're going to become meta relevant? I should. I certainly think they will, um, just because of the combos that they can do, the uh, consistency that they have now is just absolutely amazing. And I can't wait for that structure deck to come out, so I can actually start playing this deck um, proper at my locals and see how it goes. So. But yes, leave your thoughts on the deck as well and Salem Great as a whole. Um, and then as always guys, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, as always, happy dueling. What's up YouTube? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings and many more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming up for you all year round. So don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks and as always guys, happy dueling.